Hip Hip Hurry is a pretty decent Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon. This is a Warner Brothers film from 1958, directed by Chuck Jones and written by Michael Maltese. And as always, there are various things that Wile E. Coyote does to try and capture the Roadrunner. And there are some really great bits of animation and there are some really unique things that he tries that I've never seen in a Coyote cartoon before. So I will, of course, uh, discuss those with a spoiler warning. But there's one bit of animation that I want to mention first. And... The perspective is as if we're in front of the Roadrunner and Coyote, and Coyote is very closely behind Roadrunner. So close, you think you might actually be able to reach out and grab him. But we're looking at them as if we're kind of not quite on the ground looking up, but it's certainly a much lower angle than I've ever seen before in a Coyote cartoon. And it was just, it was different, and it worked so well, and it was very brief, but I just found it to be something a little bit different, and I really kind of enjoyed it. I think if they used that angle all the time, it would get old really quickly, but for this, I thought it was quite good. So, of course, I'll go into a tiny bit of detail about the various things that Coyote tries that I thought were interesting. I'm really pleased, because with the last few Coyote cartoons, they've been a bit bland and quite repetitive, but this one, there were actually a few things. So... I guess spoilers from now. I love the use of the trapeze. I wish that was longer. I wish there was more of it. But at the same time, it didn't feel rushed or like they didn't utilise it enough. But I think they could have made that one of the main features. There's a bit where Coyote's free-falling and I just thought it was wonderfully animated. And I love the water, both in terms of how they used the water, both with Coyote and Roadrunner. But also how it looked. I thought it was gorgeously animated. I need to eat my words a bit because a couple of cartoons ago I mentioned that they featured water and I can't remember which one it was but they featured water and I said hey that's really unique they basically never have water and then here it is again. So even though I have just seen water in a previous Coyote cartoon I still thought it was wonderful and then the one that I thought was the most interesting, not necessarily how it played out, but to feature it, was the mouse. It's not, you know, what, what they did with the mouse, I didn't really care for, um, but it's so unusual to have another living creature in a Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon that it kind of took me by surprise. And I wasn't expecting it, and I thought it worked it worked well, it didn't interest me personally, but it developed well. Featuring this other character was an interesting choice, and I like the design of the mouse. So that was something that I thought was uh, really interesting and not, not too bad at all, even though I didn't love exactly what they did with it, because it was just so unique, it was still pretty fascinating. So Hip Hip Hurry, to sum up, is a pretty great Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon, both in terms of how unique a lot of it is, how varied it is and how very well animated it is. If you haven't seen it and you're a fan of Coyote and Roadrunner, I absolutely recommend it.